Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like you to learn this beautiful and unusual tuning. Just have a listen first. Now let's hear it in sequence. Okay. Can you tell where the odd note is? Okay. This is an open E major tuning. Okay. But it has an extra note that makes it Lydian. Okay. That gives it the Lydian mode sound. Okay. And that happens on the fifth string. Instead of an A string, I installed a B string upon it, okay? So now we have B and B flat, okay? We have the B string, okay? It's usual B note, the second string. And we have the fifth string as a B flat note, okay? So if we play E major, Play B flat on six on the first string. We get that Lydian sound. Okay, the sharp eleven. It's the flat five, but with a major chord. So now we have that note as a lower note as well. And the open B string and the open B flat string on the fifth string create a minor second. So no matter what you pick, okay, it sounds really interesting and outside the box. Even if you bar, okay, this is an old guitar, this is uh, a barely used guitar, it's my sister-in-law's gu uh, guitar, and um, I reached this tuning uh, because she had old strings here. These strings are very old strings, um, and some of them broke. And they had another guitar lying around there um, with only a couple of strings, the E and B strings. So I thought, hey, what the heck, let's try it. I took the B string off of that guitar, I put it instead of the A string here, and I got this. Now, if you try to put on a normal 7th chord, okay, you get okay, a really interesting chord. Now these chords don't really work well when you strum them. Okay, they work picking okay and it really doesn't matter what those chords are as long as as long as you're having fun now there are many chords to find here doesn't really matter, you know, the logic, the theory behind this, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you get a really unusual sound. So the tuning is basically E, okay, B flat, okay, B flat using a B string, E again, G sharp, and then you have B and E. So it's E. B flat, a high B flat, okay, if you take an A string and raise it to B flat, it won't work, okay, it will sound very muddy, okay, it's kind of like a Nashville tuning, and then you have E again, G sharp, B, and E. Now, if you put the second uh, finger, okay, the, the second fret, okay, uh, on the fifth string and the second string. Okay, you get another minor second. Okay, but 
the cool thing about this is that you need to focus on the interplay between the second and fifth strings. Anything else you pick is just, just extensions of that. to put on a minor seventh chord just a normal chord you get this because you don't have the right bass note and the strings are tuned differently anyway okay now I'm reminding you that these are very old strings but I wanted to keep the effect You can also put a finger anywhere on the fretboard, just a bar and an extra finger, any, anywhere you want and see how that fifth string would interplay with that. emphasize that fifth string, that B flat note, that Lydian note, with everything you do, okay? Nothing I played here was very complex. Everything was very, very basic picking patterns. Very basic, okay? Just, I'm, I'm telling you the absolute truth. If you slow it down, okay? It's very, very simple patterns. They just sound really different because of this tuning. You see, I'm just putting a bar on randomly, just moving it randomly and adding an extra finger, just an extra finger. Now I added the finger on the fifth string and then I moved the bar around and I added the finger on the first string. Okay. Okay, you can also create really odd notes. You can put the finger one fret above the bar instead of two frets and then you'll get something even more sinister. Okay, and again, this, uh, this is the same picking pattern that I used before. It's just a couple of strings, I'm just picking strings one and two and then I use my thumb. But because the fifth string is a high note, it's a B string originally, okay? You hear a high note, so it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. I'm just using uh, just a couple of strings, okay? Strings two and three, and then I'm picking with my thumb, the fifth string. And then I alternate and I pick the bass, or I pick the D string. And when you go fast, okay, and um, you put on any other chord. Yeah, it sounds really complicated. When it really isn't. This is the beauty of the Lydian tuning. Uh, it's an unusual, completely 
outside the box tuning. So once again, E, B flat, a high B flat, using a B string, E, G sharp, B, and E. Right? So I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.